foundation cost of this building this beautiful building as you can see in the 3d design the side view the front view the top view is interesting because it's a different type of bill of quantities which is the material based bill of quantity this is different from the previous bill of quantity I gave which is a standard bill of quantity which factors in actual measurements of the different sections and parts of building the foundation. In the material based bill of quantities it's not an exact science because it's based on experience and art by the builder and so they may come back with requests for a bit more or they may give back a bit of what has been bought which is why it's very important for this type of bill of quantity to ensure that there is someone around to always monitor and ensure that what is bought is fully used or returned back to you as the owner so you see here there are different quotations that were sent by the builder um, for different materials the first list here and then you'd also see here the second list which contains elements for the form work but also you know some repetition of some of the items like more cement was bought and then more water was but the next thing you see is another build that came and this is mostly for the ground beam that needed to be done for this foundation and then there's a final bill capturing the materials like gravel sand laterite and trips of that which would be required for filling back the foundation and compressing all of that so the final cost of everything that has been quoted for setting up the foundation of this building is 104,425 now the advantage of this type of bill of quantity which is not the standard bill of quantity is that you get to know the individual materials which would be used for the different sections in your building so for example one of the things that i could easily flag from this quotation was that 140 bags of cement costing 18,300 meant that the individual unit price is 130 CDs. By that quotation, is actually higher than what the market price is. One of the things that advantages you get for this is that you get to see the individual parts of it. Right. The downside is that you would have to be monitoring to make sure that every item or material you bought is used and also for planning purposes since it's not going to be an exact amount based on some fixed calculation of the volumes or quantities of things it means your contractor or your builder may come back to you to ask for extra um, in order to build things so you have to kind of make allowance for contingency costs um, along the journey okay folks so this is another beautiful project that i'll be showcasing on this channel um as we go along the journey so stay tuned subscribe and be a part of this journey also share your experiences as we go in the next video i'll be comparing the foundation for the two buildings and i'll tell you why they cost the way they do and what can be done about them so stay tuned and god bless you bye